It's absolutely terrible. I don't think we're going out today in this. It's even windier. Early van last night, wasn't it? The rain. I'm going to leave my spray deck out before I get um, dry. Good job. Just look at that stunning scenery. My God, the weather's absolutely appalling. Look at this sea state. We ain't kayaking in that, but look at that, them beautiful white sands. Absolutely amazing. This man has lost his mind. He's going swimming, I think. He has absolutely taken leave of his senses, that man. Winter. Look at this place, it's fantastic. But no overnight parking again. He'll be going mad him. Looks amazing here, it looks fantastic out there. whether the weather will let us or not. Ain't gonna be going in this, that's for sure. What's a view to awaken to? Look at that. <coughs> this is uh, Ross Beg. This is Dar Ross Bay. And that over there just looks absolutely stunning. Matt's the Nazi zombie hunter. And if you think we're joking, out there. we ain't. That's they right. are out there on that island. In that boat, they don't know what trouble they're heading for. Pff, we're gonna, just in case. We're going to go and save them. I've got an assortment of weaponry. I've got my, um, obviously my split paddle. Yeah. I'll chop them up. We'll split this down. Go for the brain. Seven and quarter. I've got in the boat, um, in case we have to set them on fire, I've got the... Um, gas bottle. Gas bottles. And that's for what's it distance zombie killing. Was that blue methylated spirit? Oh yeah, yeah. Squirt that straight out the bottle in the eyes, debilitate them, and then chop the chop the head off. And if all else fails, he's gonna fart because his guts are off. <laughs> Oof. And I tell you, they're bad, bad to the bone. I'm taking my pulsar, me my fold out pulsar, and my flick hammer. Never, never leave without your flick hammer. If we camp overnight there, I've got my tent peg hammer. That's <laughs> no way. We're camping. Close, close quarter combat. <laughs> camping? No. <laughs> to explain what's going on here, we've, this is the legend that that island is full of human bones and skeletons. Just in case. We've been told this by a man who was drinking cider last night. He swears to God that there are bones and skeletons and skulls on that island. This is the man who was sat there, pissed up. And that old saying, don't get into a car with a stranger, you forgot about that one. I couldn't get out, look at that, I couldn't get out. He said I sounded like uh, an idiot from abroad, he loved me, he said I sound just like Carl from an idiot abroad. I'm sure I don't, I'm sure I'm more sophisticated than Carl and idiot. But I am an idiot abroad, so maybe he's right. But look at this place, it's just, it's another version of um, Triada Bay, really, isn't it? Only the mountains are closer. Instead of the uh, Snowden Mountains, 20 odd miles away, these are here on our doorstep. We can't wait to get out there, but the weather's crap. That's the only thing. Just like Triada Bay. Only the weather's not as good. It's a bit like the scaries at Harry Sag. You're going out there and you're going into the open sea. It's a bit like a lot of places, really. But it's not, it's County Donegal. In the Republic of Ireland, in Ulster. This is it now, we're leaving the shores. We're gonna get another, uh, have you got, hey, have you got the Bible? Arrival at Zombie Island. Now the rumors, it's gonna be true. Or have they all been winding us up? Where is 
see, I can't see. Bloody me, you be the uh, guinea pig, aren't you? If all else fails, we've agreed to run into the sea. Skeletons can't swim. Here we go, Zombie Island. What will we find? Have they been having us on? They said there's some like flagstones here, some. There they are, with crosses on. There, they've got crosses on them. That one has, anyway. I think they've been pulling our leg. I think they've been having us on these lot here. Plenty of rabbit holes. Found one bone, but that's not ready. Looks like a seagull or something like that. Jesus, that's a femur that is, isn't it? That looks like human, doesn't it? I don't know about it. My Jesus. That's a, that's, a thigh, that's a femur off your thigh. I see a... What's bit that? Look at that, that's a skull. Jesus, you were right. That's oh. a thigh burn, isn't it? And there. Look there, another shred of what's skull there. Is that it there on that stone? My God, it was. What? What's that? Or something, isn't it? That's too small. It's no, it's your clavicle, that. Shoulder. No, I'm jesting. This is definitely a feet, that. Why? Oh, release the uh, the spirit. That's going on the front of my. Oh, I broke it off. That's definitely human, isn't it? Don't know. I ain't no bone doctor. That seems hard enough to be human. Dim bones, dim bones, dim dry bones, dim bones, dim bones, dim dry bones. Bones and bones and dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Bones and bones and dry bones, bones and bones and dry bones, bones and bones and dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Is that a skull? I do not know. Is it human? I do not know. Rumour is that it's um, the Spanish Armada ship got wrecked here in 1588. See, there's another bone here. I don't know what that bone is. But the locals here tell me they've had skulls and um, they said one person had a full skeleton here. But I mean, everybody's been and picked over it were years after they've been discovered, so who knows. The Spanish Armada was defeated off Plymouth by Drake in 1588. And the uh, Spanish Armada scattered around the, the North Sea, up around the north tip of Scotland, around the Pentland Firth. And a lot of them got wrecked. They are reputedly wrecked in Orkney. Uh, there's one in... Tobermory, supposedly. There's definitely one on the Antrim coast. They've got stuff off it. They've got all artefacts off it, like um, gold and rings and, and Spanish doubloons and God knows what. But something's been going on here. Unless it's a quite elaborate hoax by the uh, locals to get the tourists in. I don't know, but it's the first we thought we were finding something out. Look at that, a bit of granite. Where does that come from? There's no granite anywhere, but we found some granite on the beach. Could be a, 
a kind of great glacial erratic. It's five o'clock. It's like Cracker Jack, isn't it, this? Five o'clock. Cracker Jack. We're on about going across, though. We don't know how far it is. We're going, I reckon. Go on, let's have a guess how far. How far do you think? 1.87 miles. Do you know how I was going to say two? I reckon it's two miles. He said it's eight miles to that, to Tarmor, from where we've been. I'll say two miles across, though. Matt said 1.87. Go back. We're just coming up to it now, and it's the sea just seems to have got bigger and bigger and bigger the closer we get to it. It's as if it doesn't want us to. We made it across. By God, the swells here. We hit that point there, and it was just the seas were just massive there. They just got up, and I was paddling. I didn't feel like I was getting anywhere at all. The classic problem. We've made it here, but the sea's that rough that when you get close in, you're all over the shore. Absolutely all over the shore. It's too much for me. I don't know what it's like for Matt. Matt can handle it better than me, but it's just too much for me. I'm shaking like a shitting dog. I'm trying to keep me boat. Out here it's not too bad. But when you get close in, you get the rebound off the I mean look at these waves coming in. He's disappearing in the swell, Matt. We've actually had a bit of sun there for five minutes, but look at this rain coming in over there. Ugh. I mean, watch Matty disappears in the swell. Oh, go on, not send any biggins there. He's about 100 yards off me and he's just been disappearing in him. Here's a biggin, this will show you. There you go. Ta-ra, hello. Just have a look at that. Keeping out for big ones here. Whoa. <sighs> Jesus. Let's see if we can get it in. He's looking at that beach over there. I don't think I'm going to land on a beach. Not in this. Here's the plan. Sneakily sneak round. Why? What are we sneaking from? The waves? The rocks and the swell. Oh, we're hiding from the rocks and the swell. The killer jellyfish. The zombies from the island. The zombies off the island that are still after us. The ragged tooth sharks that, uh <laughs> And the cannibals that are on this island. Yeah, that Martin told us about. Martin or Mark, or Mark, I think, he, I'm sure it's Mark, everybody says he's Martin. Seriously talking about attempting that, saying it's a bit too low. There is no way. There is absolutely no way. This landing's going to be a killer. What a place we've landed here. Jesus. I'm being at the live bike midges. As if it ain't bad enough.
turns out it's an amazing triple-decker art. Wow, look at that. Well, this is absolutely fantastic. So Jesus is shouting some orders. Something along the lines of go, go, go. This is some coastline. This. We're in a lovely little sheltered place here. It really is good. We've been brilliant hot land here. The place to catch you. What's up with you? Oh, you're not going in the cave? No reply. He's got the torch, I didn't bring the torch. I thought we were only going to Zombie Island. I just heard a seal in the back of this cave. It's either a seal or it was a it was Alan Hunter. It sounded like one of Alan's uh, Pretty awesome in here. Especially considering it's swelling and everything out there. We've been lucky to get in here. where we've just been. Oh man, this wind's getting up again now. It's doing my head in. Oh, I tell you, that crossing's been a nightmare. He's loving it, him. look at him. Oh, honest to God, it's a battle at Royal. I'm ripping tendons out my shoulders, trying to keep it on track. My boat was weather cocky. There it is. Look at you, John boy. Got some silver birch hot fire. You never stop being a wood rat, a wood ferret. We're here on Zombie Island again. Hey, we better not stay on here after nightfall, you know. Things could happen. You can imagine stuff starting flying up now, bits of sand and that. We've absolutely got to leave Skull Island before nightfall because Anything could happen. Oh, look at that, where we've been. Whew, it's like the dawn of time, isn't it? Or is it the end of time? It'll be the end of time. All right, this mist go and shroud this island and all the zombies are gonna wake up. 
I'll paddle back out here to try and see the end of the headland disappearing in the mist, but it's already disappeared. Look at this rain coming over here now. Oof. We're due for a stormy night. Don't bother me in the back of that van, could be knocking Zed's out. Playing guitar, knocking Zed's out. Hot refreshing. I'll have to do some chilli for tea. Well, it's been a quite an amazing experience seeing them uh, human bones and that on that island. Quite spooky. So there it is. The last view of Zombie Island.